everyone. What's cracking? Welcome to Ask a Reporter. Welcome, welcome. How are we? I didn't do a two-person, a two-handed wave. This oh, time. <laughs> why not? What's happening? I just thought I'd just break the cycle. Try yeah, something different. Yeah, that's true. Let everybody us... does it. We yeah, all do it's it. quite a natural instinct. And yeah. I realise as well. I always ask them how are they, and I never. And you never get an answer. Never get an answer. How yeah. strange. So, oh no, a rose is falling. Oh, sorry, I messed that up entirely. Oh no, that's fine. Um, what is a rose doing here? Oh, Emma? Rose. Well, I just thought you need to appreciate rose. it. No. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you for know. Me? It's for, um, actually, it's for yeah. for one of the independents. So yes. I used it this week in my story. Where did you get this from? Oh, nice. Um, good, I, that's a good quality fake rose. I don't know. Right? The thing about BTN is you yeah. can just ask for a prop and then boom. It just appears. It just appears. Because our lovely uh, Sophia, who does our uh, our props and sets, yeah. is just uh, like magic. She's on top she's of it, yeah. So she got this beautiful yeah. rose. Um, and yes, yeah. this week <laughs> the rose went to the independence. And I the vibe mm. was The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I didn't actually know... Have you what do you watch those shows? Is that I, this idea back from? in the day, yes. Well, like, like maybe yeah. three years ago. I don't know. I stopped watching it now because I just. Do, does anyone watching watch those shows? Yeah, I'm, shows? I'd be curious to know. One yeah. person I did see. I think you're it's somewhere in there. They asked us if it was like if we were doing the Love Island vibe. That's a different show. Different not, show. Not what we were going for. We we're going more for the Bachelor Bachelorette. But yeah. um, I have been teased before because this isn't my first reality TV vibe. It isn't actually. No. No, really yeah, isn't. I'm just yeah. using them all. Then Married at First Sight. Yep. We've done The Bachelorette. Maybe the next one will be Love Island. Who knows? Who knows? I, I actually, I don't watch that show, though. Me neither. I have no idea what it is. But all I know, I just feel like it might not work. I think it's a no. Yeah. There are, lots of, there are lots of reality shows that you could do. A Big Brother, there's all sorts oh, you could but do. Big Brother None of which fun. are on ABC. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and none of which I think you guys should be watching either. But that's true. That's true. Um, well, can we, let's jump into it because we've yes. got lots of questions mm-hmm. today. Yeah. Um, so... Let's talk about independence uh, generally, yeah. because Perth, uh, sorry, Chloe from Perth College. Mm. Hello, Perth College. Hello. Sorry, oh, as Amelia would say. My voice is say. a little muffled in this mask because it's quite a thick one. It is a good um, mask. It looks some yeah, it's good. Stuff. It keeps off your face a little bit more than uh, the yeah. classic disposable. Um, okay. Ugh. Why has the independent? Why have the independent parties been ignored? That's from Chloe. Wow, what why a have great. They, have they been ignored? Um, I guess you could say not ignored. Not really, yeah, not yeah. exactly. Yeah, but this and just to give a bit of context, mm. this w- was a big year for independence. So we finished, maybe that's why it seems like in the past they've been a bit. Yeah, ignored. it seems like they've mm. been ignored because now the election's over, and you might be hearing independence minor parties everywhere. They're really getting yeah. their moment in the mm. limelight. Um, why is that? Well. Why are they popular now? Why have they been ignored? Because I feel like I guess they're no, kind of Why are they getting their moment? You said they're getting their moment in yeah, the Yeah, they're in getting the their moment so now because yeah. um, there is a record number of independents going into parliament. So, mm. and it's like it's a big jump. Like I think the last parliament had, I want to say three or four independents, and then this parliament has ten independents in the lower house. So it's more than double, and that's mm-hmm. a lot. And especially in elections, getting votes and actually getting enough to get into Parliament is a big deal. Mm-hmm. So to get ten people going in is quite... It's, yeah, it's big stuff happening. Um, so, yeah, usually in the past, independents might just get a few seats, but they never really get as much as they did this election. Mm-hmm. Um, and people are saying there's a whole bunch of reasons. So they're saying that... You know, the last two years there was COVID and there was all this stuff going on and some people were kind of getting sick of people who were there, so they wanted to change things up. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, just over time there's this independence that was growing stronger and so this election they really, like, had their chance to connect with the voters and it worked because, yeah, the, we're going to have the biggest crossbench that we've ever had in Australian Parliament history. So that is their yeah. story summed up. Pretty interesting. Pretty, Pretty interesting. yeah. Um, so, how many seats are there in the crossbench? That's how from many? Joshua at Spotswood. Hello, Joshua. That's a great question. So, the crossbench isn't like a designated thing. Yeah. It's not like, you know, like a dinner table with like five seats and you're like, yeah, I get to be on the crossbench. The crossbench mm-hmm. kind of just happens. So, in Australia, you've got your two major parties, mm-hmm. your Labour and your Liberal. 
And then the crossbench is anyone who isn't in those parties. So they're either an independent, which means they're not in any party, or they're a minor party, which is like one of the tinier ones. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not really like a designated thing. It doesn't, you don't get a spe- What was it, sorry? It depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just mm. depends. So then this year there happens to be 10 uh, independents on the crossbench plus a few minor parties. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's nothing like set in stone, really. Yeah, yeah. So it changes with the with the elections and with with people leaving seats or stuff. Yeah, seats exactly. Like yeah. Okay. So, yeah. in this election, what party has the most places on the crossbench? That's from Ellie from Palmerston Christian School slash College. Wow. Hello, Ellie. Um, also, yeah. I just I was just thinking about my answer before. I should probably just clarify. Yeah. Yeah. The crossbench is. The one, because in Parliament you can like do it in three sections. You've got the government, mm-hmm. and so this year okay. that's Labour. Yep. And then you've got the opposition, and so that's now it's Liberal. And then the crossbench is the ones who aren't in the major party. So yep. that's like kind of the three sections. That's thing. why, it, yes, okay, and that's why it changes. Yeah, and that's why it changes, yeah, yeah depending who it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> so what was so, the question? Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, it was from Ellie. In yeah. this election, what parties have the most places on the crossbench? So, yes. So not the independents, but the parties, I guess. So, yeah, so, the parties oh, is the Greens. Yeah. So yeah. the Greens are one of the minor parties. Mm-hmm. Funnily enough, they're actually the biggest minor party, which sounds a bit weird. Um, but Yeah, I was thinking it's interesting, of course, that yeah, they're classified as a minor party, but they're pretty Yeah, big. they're pretty big now. Yeah. yeah, you guys might have heard of the Greens, mm-hmm. you know, they're like big on the environment and like mm-hmm. social change, things like that. Yeah. So this year in the lower house, I think they've got four um, in, in Parliament. Yeah. So okay. they're the four biggest six. ones, yeah. but mm-hmm. then there's 10 independents alongside them. So the independents... Mm-hmm. They're not a party, but they're dominating the crossbench. They're the ones that are yeah. taking up most of the room. And then you've got little minor parties sprinkled in there. Okay, so I've got yeah. Raina from Hello. Auburn Primary yeah. School or Public School. I'm not sure. Yeah, Raina, but, um, be the from way. Auburn, from Auburn. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Auburn, uh, sorry, Raina is saying, how do you become a person who can sit at the crossbench? By the way, hi, ML. I'm also a Muslim. Oh, cute. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Love Was that, it Raina? Raina, yeah. Oh, that's cool, Raina. Um, so, like I was saying before, the crossbench isn't really a specific set in stone thing. So, it's not like government mm-hmm. where you're like, oh, yep, I'm in government now and that means I get to make the laws and this and that. The crossbench just means you're not in one of the major parties. And, mm-hmm. like, it's not like the crossbench become, like, an official group. It's kind of an unofficial thing. Mm-hmm. So... But how do you even get to sit there? Yeah. Um, so the way that you get to sit there is you just run for parliament, not in Labour or Liberal, mm-hmm. and you either run with one of those minor parties, like Greens mm-hmm. or One Nation, or you run without a party. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, as an independent. Yeah, as an independent. So if you get a seat in the lower house or even the Senate, which is the upper house, mm-hmm. um, that's how you end up on the crossbench. As long as you're not in a major party, that's what would qualify you, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And there are a few things. You can actually even start your own party. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. But you do need to have... We've done stories on this before as well. Oh, yeah. But you do need to uh, meet a certain amount of like criteria. To, yeah. To and there's some really party. niche parties as well. Like, really niche? Yeah, very yeah. specific. There's like small. parties about fishing and yeah all, yeah all sorts yeah all sorts. so the party- I remember I did a story once about political parties and I created a party called the I think it was like the cat party or something the cat party did something it, like that how did it go uh I can't remember how my story ended but I feel like <laughs> it was a positive it was oh I mean did you the cat party like get off the ground oh post story yeah um no uh, bummer bummer didn't have the still numbers. working on it still, still trying to get okay, the numbers still work. So still trying to rally support election, maybe so you'll hear cat parties all the over cat the party. news yeah yeah in three my, years time my uh symbol was a cat ah there you get very creative I thought so mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah that's yeah. really genius. Feel outside the box with that one yeah wow well yeah. keep your ears peeled for the cat party because they yeah. they might be on <laughs> we might be talking about them on Ask a Reporter in three years <laughs> who knows who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> yeah uh, yeah okay so is it predicted in the next election that the Greens will have majority voters that's from Imogen from Perth College. Do you know what? Do you know the predictions around the Greens? Um. Well, not specifically the Greens, but mm-hmm. that question is interesting because even though it's like this 
big year for independent and minor parties. They've got like 10 seats in the lower house, a whole bunch of seats in the upper house. The thing is, they'll probably never form government. Yeah. So even though they're getting a lot more popular with people, um, Australia still is pretty much a two-party system. So it's mm-hmm. mainly Labour and Liberal, and then you have these other ones. Except this year, like, it did show that the other options are becoming a bit more popular, but everyone's pretty much saying it's set to be Labour and Liberal mm-hmm. forever. So, like, you'll never get Greens in government necessarily, but they could just become more and more powerful. And if more of them end up on the crossbench, then they can actually be pretty influential to those in government. Because in the lo- in Parliament, you need like a majority of people to pass a law. Mm-hmm. And so if you need their numbers and there's heaps oh, of them yeah. there, then they can be super powerful and they can be like, yep, we'll help you pass your law, but we want your help to pass our stuff. So yeah. even though they're probably not going to form government and like give us a prime minister, they still can be pretty um, yeah important in parliament. I'd say. Yeah. I thought there was a question about that, but I was trying to find it. But I can't see it. Yeah. I'm sure there was. Um, what is the guy's name that keeps on walking behind you guys? That's uh, Zachary <laughs> at Kidman <laughs> Park <laughs> Primary School. Oh, was it? Oh, that is yeah. Matthew, producer yeah. Matthew. Da, 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 da. He's not listening. Oh, there we go. Hello. Somebody Can asked, the, uh, do you want to take sorry, a rose? Okay. Somebody yeah. asked about you. They said, who's the guy in the background? Who's the guy who keeps walking behind you guys? Oh, I'm so sorry. That I'll is Matthew. Out, that, guy. Yeah, Luke you may recognise him also as mm. uh, the host of whatever show it was that you the did. The Bachelor, yep. Yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't The Bachelor. Wasn't the, the Voter. The Voter. The Voter. The the it definitely had nothing to do with The Unrelated. Bachelor. Unrelated. Unrelated, no absolutely. Yeah. Issue here. <laughs> uh, we just couldn't find an Osha. Are you smelling the face? Rose? Yeah. Wow. It does okay. smell like um, <laughs> chemicals and toxicity. So here you go. As some of you have you watched love. the show for a very long time, which you may or may not have. Some of your teachers might remember Matt. He is, oh, was also a reporter. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say you were also a reporter. I was. Right. You yeah. had a fan on Ask a Reporter for a long time. You kept saying, where's Matt? So um, there you go. Well, I really yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, unless they were talking about Nat and they just got your name wrong. That's Ooh. also entirely possible. Entirely possible. Could go either way. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having wow. me. Wow. Yeah, right. Everyone say bye, yeah. Matt. Bye, or Nat, whatever you want. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I saw another question. I lost it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Grace from South Yarra Primary School. Hello, Grace. Says, why is the cross bench so small? Why is the cross bench so small? Why aren't there lots of people on the cross bench? Um. Well, it kind of goes back to the thing that Australia is mainly a two-party system. Mm-hmm. You've got Labor and Liberal, and the reason. They've kind of been the biggest parties since Australia became a federation, so they've got more powerful and get more money, so it's just kind of have a bigger reputation. Uh, People know them more, so they're always kind of going to dominate the election. They have more money to spend to get people to vote for them. Yeah. Um, So for independence, do you know, like an independent is literally Amelia Mm -hmm. signing up on the electoral office and saying, I'm not a part of any party, I haven't got you know, all these people around me, it's just Amelia. That's pretty hard. That's a a hard thing to do. And sometimes they have the help of like organizations or they might get together a little team, but it's not like they've got this big history and reputation behind them. Mm. So it's a lot harder for people to pick you because they might not know who you are. They might not, they might be suspicious or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why the crossbench tends to be a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But like I said, this year was a big year for the crossbench because they more than doubled. so they're doing great. Crossbench is doing great. Don't worry about them. They're, yeah. they're fine. Don't even worry about them. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have a question from Genevieve, also from Perth College. They've sent us lots of great questions. Mm. Um, Genevieve is wondering... Well, she, Genevieve has a few questions, but I'm going to do the first and the third. So okay. and, and also Genevieve says, P.S., I love BTN so much. I'm a super fan. Oh, so super thank you, fan. Genevieve. Love to hear from a super fan. Do other countries, ML, have a crossbench too? Mm. And your question as well, Genevieve, which we can answer, is why is the House of Representatives green? Mm. And we actually have a little map that we can we can bring up here, which shows some of the seat. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, not yeah, quite what I thought it would be. Green, okay, that is your first uh, this is the map. This is furnished in green and the Senate's furnished in red. Yes, I know. I, I th- sorry, I thought you had a picture coming up, but that's all good. We'll, the, we'll use that map for something else. Yeah. So, um, but basically, yeah, well, you go for it. Do you want to answer to other cr- countries have a crossbench too? Uh, yes. Because this is actually related. Yeah. 
Um, so the UK and New Zealand have a cross bench. Yes. So like I said, it's not really like a proper concrete thing like government, but the way that their parliament is set up, it's kind of similar to Australia because, you know, mm-hmm. Australia is like influence from UK is with a lower house and an upper house and two major parties. So, yeah, if you go to the UK or New Zealand, you'll hear the term crossbench. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the, and that relates to, so that British parliamentary system mm. is the reason that we have uh, the House of Representatives uh, in uh, green and the Senate in red. So, because uh, I actually went to Parliament House, you can check mm. out, we did like a BTN special. Oh yeah, that's cool. We talk, yeah, I learned a little bit more about those colours. So, um, they, they because our system is based on the same system as the yeah. British parliamentary system, um, because of course Australia was, uh, you know, settled Mm-hmm. Originally, uh, you know, colonization was British people. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we ended up taking on that same sort of system. And so that's why parli- our parliament works the way it, it does. Whereas you look at America, it has a different system altogether yeah. of government. Yeah. Um, but the colors, yeah, they they have red and green, mm. but they're actually a different red and green as well. Yeah. They're much darker. Yeah. Um, so our green is, they decided to make it sort of what they call an Australian green. Mm. So it's a little bit more like a eucalyptus kind of sort of vibe. That's what yeah, they're going for. Yeah, um, yeah. And the red, actually, when you go into the Senate, it looks almost like a pink. Oh, it does. <laughs> I think it. that might be because it's faded. Yeah. The oh, so it's been funny. around for a little while now. Sad, sad it's, it. like, it's almost like a slightly pink colour when you actually look at it. But um, yeah. yeah, that's why. So that's why there are those two different colours, and it diff- different. It helps to differentiate. Mm. Uh, you know, the two the two major parts of Parliament and how yeah. government works. So it helps when you're watching TV or something, and you can see a hundred percent which, and of course, very different um, things going on in both, but very related as well. Helping yeah. to make laws and make decisions for the country. So yeah, there you go. I remember. This Have is- you been? to Parliament House? I haven't, but mm. I it would be cool to go. It was really yeah, cool. It was really yeah, cool. That sounds yeah, like lots really of fun. fun. I had a good time. But I remember in school when we were learning the House of Reps in the mm. Senate, the way that I would remember which house was mm. red and which house was green, yeah. I would imagine it like a reverse traffic light. Because you know oh, how the laws start at the bottom yeah. and go to the top? Yeah. I would think, oh, it's just an opposite traffic light. So it's green oh, and then it's red. And, and to this day, red. I still think of that. Like when I yeah. need to remember what color the Senate is, I'm like, reverse traffic light. And then, there you go. yeah, that's I don't know why I just can't remember the colors on their own, but that's how I do it since like like five, six there years now. There you go. Yeah. Um, um, I thought laws that could also be created, started in the Senate. They can, be, yeah. but typically they start. So it's a very confusing Yeah, because you could even yeah. start it in the Senate. But, <laughs> but more, like, more often. Yeah, more yeah. Often, yeah. Usually yeah. it's the House of Reps. So yeah. The Senate can um, start their own laws Oh, here too. we go. So we've yes. got a little picture coming up here. This will this will show you a little bit. Yeah. 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 So there you go. You can see that difference. So when yeah, when if you want to look up the uh, UK Parliament, you'll see it's it looks si- like similar. No, no, it looks pretty different. But the yeah. the general colouring is the same. Yeah. Um, I, whenever I see the UK Parliament, I'm always like, wow, that looks like a really tiny room. Oh, it does it? Whereas that is actually it's really it looks very small. Whereas like oh. the House of Reps and the Senate, it feels really quite big when you're actually in there. Wow. Yeah. And just to can we bring that photo up? A again? lot of more people to a seat. It, yes, you know, 151 yeah. in the lower, and exactly. it's like 76. Yeah. Um, and then also, like you guys can see, like in the green one, which is the mm. lower house, it's a bit like a U. And so usually yes. the way that it works, the guys that form government, which mm-hmm. this year's Labour, they'll sit on the left side. We actually have another map we can show you. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of <laughs> I was going to say, this is the one I was thinking of yes, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Confused, yeah. Um, so you'll see on the left side, they're going to, like, that's where the government sits, and they're going to put all the people that they have elected there. Mm-hmm. And then right opposite them, you have the opposition, which this year is Liberal. And that space in between, however many it is, is the crossbench. And that's kind of why... It's called the cross bench as well, which is across both benches. Because you've got your government, your opposition. Yes. Um, oh, actually, some people were wondering about that name. Oh, uh, were they? They oh, were. Was that a they question? were. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I had a few questions. When was it? Well, this is when was it first called the cross bench? But that's all in I tried from to find the history of it. School. Yeah. I, I assume it's just from. It just kind of is how it, it is. From the parliamentary system in the UK. Surely. Been, yeah, you know, for, yeah. For a long time, I suppose, over there. Yeah. Um, 
and has made its way over here, I assume. Yeah. But um, why it's called the cross benches? It's across both benches. Makes so sense. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> so yeah, they had... weren't as creative as Amelia was when yeah. it came to her cats and everything like that. They're a lot more basic in Parliament. Yeah, Parliament's. very but basic. But maybe they need some beachy and creativity to like, spice things up for them. <laughs> I don't know, what would you call the cross bench? What's like a more fun name for um, it? Um, the bench cross. The bench cross. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> the in between. Oh, the in between is yeah. fun. Yeah, or the, something like. Although they're not always in like between the shakers. politically, so yeah. that could be. They are seated wise. But they yeah, could be all over that they political could be all over spectrum. The, mm. I don't know. What did you say? I don't know. Like the like a salt shaker. Like I'm just thinking oh. of something that like changes things up or oh. spices it. I don't know. Oh, spice. Maybe call them right. pepper, salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. So this is, she's creative. This there is you go. Boom, boom, boom. Um, okay, so we had a couple of questions also about ties. So, um, Amelia. Hey, Amelia oh. from Yuka Homeschool. Amelia. Love you guys, Yuka Homeschool. What would happen if there was a tie? Um, that's a great we question. We touched on this at one stage. Yeah, we did. A yeah. few weeks back, yeah. Yes, we've been doing a few elections. We signs, have. Haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm just back on the seat every week. <laughs> um, no complaints, yeah. though. No rose previously, <laughs> though. This is the first time for the rose. First time for the rose. Yeah. Um, but that's a great question because that's exactly what happened in 2010. Yeah. So in 2010, we had what you call a hung parliament, mm-hmm. and that's when those two major parties, they got the exact same number of votes, but neither of them had enough to get a majority. Mm-hmm. So they need 76 to form government. Yeah. Because um, there's 151 seats and they need half of that. But neither of them had it. And then that was like a really good example to show how powerful the crossbench could be. Because then there were six crossbenches that both of those parties were trying to win over to form government. Because mm-hmm. they needed to get them on their side. Um, and so eventually the Labour won over enough enough minor and independent parties and they need them to declare support and confidence and supply and what that means is they need these independent and minor parties to pretty much say like yeah we're going to work with you like we're not going to cause you trouble because imagine if i'm just like please join my side and Mm -hmm. then like once i start forming government every time i try and pass a law like you cause trouble and like yeah oppose it so they're pretty much going to say yeah we're going to stick on your side yeah and yeah that's what happened in 2010 so labor so do they mostly are they like like i always wonder about this is it is it very much like when i say i'm sticking on your side yeah do i have to do that like what, yeah what when is, it's declared yeah. in confidence and supply okay. that's like yeah, they're that's pretty so interesting. bound by it they're yeah. pretty down by it they go. are so now yeah. like because Labour formed their own government in their own right, yes. the independents can like kick up a fight and like oppose everything. Yes. Like they're not owing anyone yeah. anything at all. Mm-hmm. But but you might think that they were sort of working on the idea that they potentially might not have gotten majority government, and so they were sort yeah, of that thinking was about the, it. And yeah. they did already, like you said, they kind of said that they had secured yeah. some independence. A hundred percent. Yeah, because uh, we only knew yeah. that Labor got a majority like a few days ago, I think. Because yeah. before that, Just a couple they were still, days ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but you might be thinking it takes like, a while to count those votes. A long time. I think we even have a story about that too. We have a lot of stories. <laughs> we have so many stories. <laughs> but, um, stories for everything. Yeah. yeah. An interesting part of it is you might think like, oh, that's unfair that they just have to stick by their side if they're not a part of their party Mm -hmm. but the parties that are trying to win them over they're trying to win them over so they're gonna they might promise them things they might promise that we'll help you with this or we'll help you Mm -hmm. with that in exchange for you to come onto our side so it's kind of a win-win um but yeah yeah okay so um you sort of touched on this uh but matilda from secret harbor primary school it's a secret oh my gosh is that a real real name or is that just i don't even know but i love it spice yes (laughs) secret harbor oh my god matilda i love it okay wow why are people choosing to go with the independent people rather than the big parties yeah. Um, well, let's just answer that because, yeah. That is going. a great question. Um, well, this is related. And why why are the independent people getting more votes than they really ever have? So Yeah, I guess they thing. tie in. They tie in. Um, so a big thing that a lot of experts are saying, experts, you know, people that love all this politics stuff, mm-hmm. um, climate change. Climate change was kind of like one of the biggest things in this election because all a lot of those independents that won seats, and a lot of them won seats from 
liberal people who have had them for a really long time mm -hmm. and they thought that everyone in their electorate which is like the area that voted for them just loved them and had their back a lot of those independents one of their biggest things was climate change and so a lot of people are saying that the major parties just weren't giving good enough policies and good enough ideas on how to tackle climate change and that it mattered to a lot of people so they ended up going for these independents who promised like new ways of dealing with it so that's kind of one of the biggest things that shaked up this election let's say yeah okay yeah. cool um okay so talia from yuka future hello Learning, homeschools well what would happen if the whole house of reps were voted to be independent oh my gosh that is crazy town it just wouldn't probably wouldn't happen probably wouldn't happen it's just yeah i'm gonna go out there and say 99.999999 percent impossible <laughs> maybe the sorry point, talia sorry maybe there's a point zero 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 one percent but uh, i'm pretty sure it won't happen okay well this is similar ria from uh i, I assume similar in uh probability okay <laughs> but you never know ria from Arana cps Hi BTN, my name is Ria and I'd like Hello. to know if any of the minor slash independent parties have ever actually been voted for Prime Minister and, and of course, you, yeah, the party you were saying, mm. uh, which means the leader or yeah. the person, I suppose, if they're an independent would be voted, um, would become Prime Minister rather than being voted for. Yeah. Um, love your show so much. Have a great day. Bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everyone. <laughs> Um, no, um, that wouldn't so happen. Always it's, come from the maid. The prime minister has always been the leader of one of the major. Yeah. So specifically, yeah, in Australia, because like how Amelia was saying before, different countries have different systems. Mm -hmm. You might technically have a chance of it in somewhere, yeah. say America, America. Mm -hmm. where you like directly pick the president. Yeah. Um, but in Australia, you don't actually directly pick. Still, still like so unlikely. Yeah, still, still like so very unlikely. like nine nine point nine. Because they are still very much the, like the big yeah, parties. The big, big parties, yeah. Yeah, but like it's it wouldn't even be possible in Australia because yeah. we don't even have the chance to pick our prime minister. We just yes. pick our candidate. But has but but even for the minor or independent to I mean an independent probably like can't ever get majority exactly because so, majority means that you have a group yes and if a minor party was that big it would surely have become a third major party exactly <laughs> yeah because you know, it like, kind of just defeats the meaning no of it minor. like yes. you wouldn't be an independent if you were a majority because then that means mm. you're a group yes exactly so yeah so. Just a, can't win. <laughs> uh, yeah, can't, can't win. Uh, yeah, so, okay. And let's see. Lucky last question. Ooh, I lucky reckon. last question. Uh, let me see. And then we'll do a, quick, a few quick shout outs. Lovely. So hang around for those. I'm just going to crush uh, this right. Do you know? This is from Amelia from Kidman Park Primary School. Oh so many Amelia's. Gosh, here. what an Amelia day. Do you, I love it. How many different parties there are? Do How you know? different parties? I don't, I don't know either. Know. A lot, like, like, all right, let's do a little a quiz. Try and name all the minor parties <laughs> that you know. Going... I actually started looking up the minor parties and mm -hmm. what they, uh, like when I was looking just at the House of Reps like and voting, like yeah. what they represented. Yes, all right. Uh, there's the, the Democrats. Yep. The Greens. Love it. Um, you have to help. Come on. What are you, um, the, the, you said the fishing. There's like a fishing party or something. The Fishers and Shooters party. Yeah, something. yeah. Which I think combined with somebody else with the science party or something. Oh, is maybe, it? And they created something else entirely now. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Uh, um, they change a lot. Yeah. What's that? The yellow one. Mm, well, there's like United the United Australia Party. party. United yep. Australia party. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, you got One Nation. You got yeah, One Nation. Oh, man. There's lots. Yeah. There are lots and lots of, of minor parties, and yeah, they all sound for different things. Amal said that, yeah. Jackie, Jackie Lambie, Network, Nick Centrefund. Centre Alliance, Alliance, yes. There you go. Yeah. And Bob and Cash's, uh, yeah, party. So, so there you go. There's, yeah, all sorts. All yeah. sorts. Lots of small ones. Maybe you might go home and, if you were going to start a minor party, what would you call it? That's like, if you want to send it in, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. We won't, we won't probably get those in time I next week. Okay. Um, all right, <laughs> so let's go to the last 
thing I want to just quickly say my favorite question. <gasps> that gets the rose. Oh, uh, that gets the rose. Yes. Okay, who are we going to give the rose to today, Amelia? Oh, that was a very shout. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, I thought I highlighted my favorite question. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I forget every time. Oh, my God. I reckon I'm going to go. She's building the suspense, guys. The pressure. It's really difficult for me to make this decision. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say that today I'd like to give the rose to Rhea from Marana CPS. Wow. Rhea said that she loved the show so much and uh, she wanted to know about whether or not they'd ever become uh, uh, independents or minors that have ever been prime ministers or the parties have been voted for. So there wow. you go. There you go. Rhea, yeah. come collect your rose. No, come collect your rose. <laughs> Good job, Rhea. Woo! Um, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom into your rose, Rhea. Oh, my God. This um, is for you, Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I also liked Rainers as well. Just a shout out from Auburn. Oh, I love How do you become a person who can sit on the crossbench? So that's interesting too. Yeah. Okay, so finally, let's quickly go through some shout outs. Some shout outs. All right, ready to uh, ready? You got to say the greeting. Mooney, I just feel Mooney like I cop out every time and just. You can do it. Mooney, ah. Mooney Ponds West Primary School. Hello. Um. There was uh, Sienna from Ride East Public School who wanted to shout out her amazing, their amazing teacher, Mrs. Small. Woo, Mrs. Small. So, yep, and Ride East Public School. Uh, Callum Vale Community College. Hello. Hi. Ah. Ah. St. Peter's Girls School. Howdy. Deer Park West Primary School. What's crackalackin'? <laughs> Quakers Hill East Public School. What? How you doing? Springfield Central. Salt and pepper. I don't even know. And Beauty Point Public School. That's yeah. a lovely name. Ten out of ten. Yay, well done. <laughs> they weren't even greetings anymore. They were just very random statements. Yeah. Well like, done. Well, thank you so much, ML. I think we all learned something along the way there. Yeah. Make sure you tune in to Ask Her Put It next week as well. And also BTN. Well, yeah. You get to watch BTN first. No, and so news break. What talking about. Every, every day. Oh, yeah, news break. Don't yeah, news break get your well. dose of BTN tonight yeah, at 6.25. All right, well, thanks very much. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye. Double hand wave, bye. Double hand wave, one hand.